what's up forum what's happening forum I've been playing that Parasite Eve copy uh, on the PlayStation 1 on the poorly played stream last week it was good that game is something that I had always heard so much about and seen like friends play it but never had any experience with and it turns out it's like uh, you didn't play that when you were younger really I never had it struck me as I was so into Resident that. Evil and then Final Fantasy you think I would have yeah. Because to me, it seems so far actually sitting down playing it, listening to the music and everything, mm. it's it's like straight Resident Evil type orchestra stuff. All the sound effects and page turning and footsteps and everything like the noises match up almost perfectly. And then it's this like somewhere between Final Fantasy VII and VIII square mm. type animation. Even like Aya's character select screen, like when you go into the inventory, you know how Cloud and Tifa and everyone was drawn in those portraits yeah. in your item? It's yeah. like that little portrait of her. Yeah, I think it's she the looks... same. I think that's Nomura. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah for sure. Awesome. It's like this hybrid of those two styles. You would have think I would have played it. Yeah. It's just something that always kind of flew over my radar. Under yeah, I didn't play it when I was a kid because I didn't really have a lot of, um, I didn't have any survival <laughs> horror games. Yeah. But Parasite Eve looked cool. I just never got it. And now I feel like it's too late. Like I've tried playing as like, it's I'm too, the tank controls are, are a thing of the past. I can't do it. Like, it's it's pretty slow. I mean, I played on the stream last week, and that, I mean, normally I don't get very far, but yeah. I really didn't get very far into the game. Even today, I was playing a little at the studio when we met up, and it just takes a while to progress. But I'm going I'm to keep trucking along and keep enjoying it. Um, you didn't end up getting Monster Hunter? I don't have the new 3DS yet. Oh, okay. I, I've been so swamped this last weekend with the stuff we've been working on yeah. that I haven't gone to get the 3DS you know or... I, you know what I did? Oh, sure. I bought a mini SD or micro SD. Oh, okay. In anticipation for the transfer system and everything. Yeah. Just so I have it when the thing comes, but I gotta go, like, I guess to a Target. Are they available in stores? I think, the, audience, I think the regular colors. Tweet at me, do you see that shit at Target? We got them. I'm not going to GameStop. I thought you didn't like promoting your Twitter. I'm not. I'm not giving out the name. Yeah, just saying. Ask saying. if you Tweet out into the, the ether. If you know, <laughs> you know. Don't, 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 don't put it. On I'm the glad screen. we have Eric here to remind us of things we <laughs> <Thank> said. <you. laughs> Point them out at perfect opportunities. So I mean, you don't have to be um, on all the time. You just watch. When they announced the new 3DS, yeah. uh, me and my brother both were like, "Oh yeah, we gotta get that because the 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 thumb thing uh, for Monster Hunter, you you, I can't play it without that." I, I was I, using the. What's that big thing? <laughs> yeah, the Circle Pad. Circle Pad thing. Pro. Yeah. yeah, and I used that too. I had it for the XL. It was like carrying around a laptop and um, <laughs> didn't want to do that anymore. So, yeah, we were both committed to getting that. We both love Monster Hunter. And so right away, as soon as they announced it was coming here, we both ordered, because Amazon had a deal at the time on micro SD cards. Yeah. Bigger ones for the system. So we both ordered them. And then the day came where the, where the new 3DS came out, and we both lost them. We, we were uh, both like... What? Because we ordered them like two months ago. Uh, <laughs> so it was like... <laughs> what what size? I got, I think, like 64 for like 12 bucks. Oh, yeah, me too. Yeah. Um, I, f I have it now. Got but it was, like, it was just really funny that we were... Hey, are, are you having trouble finding yours? Yeah, I don't even know. It was months ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so anyway. I watched a video of Nintendo's transfer process, the yeah. explanation, which I was happy that they put out. Yeah. A lot of people are just bitching at how convoluted and long it takes. Yeah. But I don't know. It's a step-by-step -step process. You only have to do it once. It can't take yeah. longer than 10 minutes. Uh, it's not that big uh, of a deal. If you have a lot of stuff downloaded, it takes longer. It takes longer? Yeah. But go fucking but, cook a bag of popcorn in your microwave and sit back and enjoy yeah, life. cook a what, bag of corn, Why are you dude? sitting around waiting for Monster Hunter to transfer over? Yeah. Yeah. Corn cooker? Yeah. Um, you piece but, of shit. But anyway, I found it. And uh, anyway, now that I have it all set up, I downloaded Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter's fun. I've played some of it so far. I mean... The demo seems, was cool. It seems like it's more of the last one, and it's fun. Um, there's a, there's a few adjustments here and there, but um, I mean, nothing I didn't expect. It's it's more Monster Hunter. Is there uh, a new But weapon? it has full online now, which that's a big plus. Is there a new weapon from three? Because in the demo, I saw you can choose like any kind of setup and loadout, and it just kind of throws you into the world. There were some swords that would transform from like lances to swords and back and stuff. And I remember like yeah. one gun in three kind of doing like it changed from a hammer into a gun or something. Yeah. But there's a lot yeah, more there I was, think there in was this new one. Three. And all yeah. the all the cat stuff that they added just gets me. Yeah, there's a lot of cat stuff. In, if you're in into Monster. if you're into any kind of cat, if you use the cat emojis in iOS, um, personally I don't use a baby's OS, but <laughs> I do use Android platform. This is just more robust. We're adults. Um, I, uh, 
I actually am gonna give a chance to. It came out the same day as 3DS Majora's. I'm just fucking with you. I'm not. Oh, I'm close not it. Play. I think it's recording now. <clears throat> I can hold it if you want. Oh, that's a good shot. No, that's a good shot. We're all in there. Right there, right there. So we turn. No, it's that's nah. even better. Quickly talk before I turn. Um, only turn. A lot of news came out this week about the game Goddess. Oh, uh, yeah. I had a chance to play Goddess. It's funny, I, I got that game about a year and a half ago, and I played it for about a month, and it was fun for a month, and then I put it down waiting for the updates to come and kind of forgot about it. So the news this week is really funny because it reminded me that those updates never came. Are you going <laughs> to play that, that Total War Attila? Oh yeah, Eric turned me on to the new Total War game Attila that's coming out. I might play it, but it's not out yet, and it's a full, I believe it's like $59.99. Uh, I, oh, I typically shit. don't pay that much for a video game unless... That's like a pretty, that game looks pretty fucking deep, too. Is it an yeah. RTS? You know, or? like, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm totally spoiled by Steam, because stuff goes on sale all the time. Yeah. I just won't pay full price, I'll just wait for it to go on sale. Right. So, Attila Total War looks really fun, but I'm gonna wait until they... Give me a discount before I check it out. Good. Good deep, deep What's deep funny, discount. it's a brand new game. It's not even out yet. I was looking at the system requirements. They recommend Windows 7. Oh, really? wow. It's the... Uh, yeah, so maybe just, they maybe just, that's just because it was built... Like, because it's using... It's using the previous Total War engine, right? Like, well, I just, that was on. I just, I think that's a testament to the colossal failure that Windows 8 is. That well, brand new games are just. Well, most people don't. I think that the colossal failure that's Windows 8 is evident that they're already coming out with fucking Windows 10. <laughs> uh, yeah, getting getting as far as they can from that number. Yeah, no yeah, they're shit. coming out with Windows 10, but new video games are still stuck to you know a generation yeah. back. I so. think there's a stat that was saying like, I think one percent of Windows users have eight. I so, have Windows wow. 8 on my Yeah, laptop. so I think that's why they're not really catering. Um, yeah, it's yeah, hilarious. Yeah, was, I'm sure it'll work. I was but. using the new podcast computer because that has 8 on it now. Yeah. It's new. Yeah. I didn't know. How, I was like, what do I do? Yeah, like, I didn't I know. This? I had to like sit down and have somebody who used it before like help me and go, oh yeah, you don't have like a start that's, menu. That's not so good. So you click the start menu and just type whatever you need and it yeah. comes yeah. up. Once, oh. once you figure it out, it's not that bad. But every once in yeah. a while, every once in a while you'll need like... A program you haven't used in years. You'll have yep. to open up MS Paint. Mm -hmm. It'll take you 15 minutes. Yeah. And that is a bummer. <laughs> yep. Um, I would just feel so dumb using a Windows OS and having to ask for help with the start. <laughs> yeah, how right? do I, I feel like my grandma or something. How do I like, open do do my email? Oh, you guys are getting old. I know. I think, yeah. I think that's just it. Uh, this is going to be hell, dude. Welcome to hell. No, the camera's going to stay right. Right. Oh, no, I'm just talking about trying to. The camera has actually. Anytime someone has talked on either side, it's, it's, it actually it's it actually auto, has moved. Yeah, it's auto pan feature. Um, but yeah, I was gonna say. Speaking of, that's a good subject to bring up on the sixty dollar thing. Um, this car's gonna hit us. Garrett, were were you interested <laughs> at all in that the Order eighteen eighty six game? You know, uh, Whoa, that well, one that was, was a good. little extreme. <laughs> yeah. The the gameplay looks. Cool. I'll give them that. I haven't played a second out. I've never tried it at a convention yeah. or anything. But uh, you know, it's a first-person PS4 exclusive. Like it's a big, apparently story-driven. Is that very? Yeah. What's, and I think that. And part? I think some people aren't aren't that into it. That it's very cutscene heavy. Very, you know, stuff like that. We've talked about this in the past, but it has that Victorian time period, that setting, mm. and I'm so burnt out on everything being steampunk. That mm -hmm. it it just looks like that. So aesthetically, I'm like, ah, I'm not interested in this game. Mm. But uh, the weapons and the stuff that you've described in it sounds pretty fun. I just got like three yeah. shooters that I previously bought for the PS4 that I haven't. Like I never finished Wolfenstein: New Order, and that was great. Is there a badass game on the PS4 that's not a shooter? Um, Shadows of Mordor. Yeah, I mean it's not exclusive, but Shadows oh. of Mordor. I don't know that there are a lot of are there like a lot of GTA PS4 exclusive games? Not not right now. Uh, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of what else I've been playing on it. Um, just for me, Resident Evil Re Remaster is so fucking good. My Xbox 360 just started dying. I feel like this is a trick. Oh my god! It's like the twelfth one. Microsoft. I'm sure they're releasing a virus mm -hmm. <laughs> to kill all the Xbox 360s to force people to buy the one. Profit.exe. Oh. Yeah, that's the name. It's, it's dying in a, such a slow way. Like I could tell it's almost dead because it's just like slugging along, getting yeah. churning, making a lot of noise. Not making a lot of noise, but like oh. freezing. Not not even freezing, but just slowing down when it shouldn't be. Like mm -hmm. gotcha. It's bullshit. So it's a slow death. 
Do you remember in the cartridge days when too many characters would be on screen and games would slow down because the processor yeah. couldn't handle yeah. the... I think it was, I might be wrong, but I think it was Kojima who invented the thing uh, where if there were 16 characters on screen, eight would be on at one time and yeah, eight it would, would be on. And it, That's true. It flipped between them to compensate for that. Yeah. Wow. wow. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I think it was Kojima that came up with That's that. That's fucking crazy. Um, but uh, it's weird to think that even back then, like right now, he's still obviously a big name. Even back then, before he even knew who he was, he was changing video games, you know, it's yeah. kind of crazy, but yeah. anyway, my point, my point with bringing that, the order up is that, uh, reviewers are saying they're beating <laughs> it, they're beating it in five hours. Wow. Like that, real, you real hear short. a lot of that now with new games. Oh, and how short, hours. it's always a knock against how short Now, a lot of other people have tried it and have said like, yeah, I don't know how they beat it in five yeah, hours. I can't, games, I can't so. beat it in five hours. Um, but it might be close for those people it might be closer to like 10. Uh, is that something that would, like, if you were really into that, would that deter you, or would you nope. not care? No, I, think, I wouldn't. I, wouldn't ten, care. I think 10 hours is a good uh, length for It doesn't game. deter yeah, me. Yeah, because I, I, I feel the same way. I don't like game length. But then I'm more likely to rent that game, or, oh, you know, I'm sure. then yeah, I have to buy it. Sure. Um, yeah. yeah, but I do appreciate depth and difficulty. I, and sure. I agree. I, yeah. I want a challenge. Uh, yeah. I think I've said to you guys, too, my problem with Shadow of Mordor is that it just kind of got too easy, so. Yeah, I feel like you really do get overpowered in that game. But yeah, you I get think, beefy after But the way that... The way that I felt about it is that I felt like I earned all the stuff that I had, so I didn't mind being as strong that I was, as I was. And sure. then it made me want to make all the war chiefs stronger, so I just kept sending death threats to everyone, oh, to and then making it, more, yeah, and then making it like more difficult. Okay. So that that's the okay. way I compensated. But, you know, maybe a game doesn't necessarily have to, uh, like a lot. I guess it shouldn't rely on you to make it more difficult for you. Sure. Yourself. Yeah. You yeah. Know yeah. What I mean? Yeah. There's a, there's debate with that, I guess, yeah. but um. But I was gonna say, like, I remember we were hearing the same things about Metal Gear Rising, and um, yeah. I really, I beat that game, and I had a lot of fun. In would I have liked it to have gone on a little longer? Yeah, but I had so much fun in that amount of time. I didn't feel like, oh man, I got you know, I got stiff. Granted, they sent us that game. I shouldn't say that I paid for it. But, I, uh... but with this, I still plan on getting this. I liked what I played at PAX. I don't necessarily feel. Uh, yeah, I don't know. The the, the runtime doesn't really. It's never right. been an issue for me. I mean, maybe yeah. when I was younger and I... Yeah, yeah. You know, you back when we were kids, you'd save your allowance, you'd buy one game for that month. That was all you could yeah. afford to play. Yeah. And you had all day, every day after school, to dump into that game. Yeah. And, and if it lasted five hours, yeah, you'd be pissed. But now it's like... Dude, I'm lucky if I get five hours in a full week mm -hmm. to sit down and well, play Well, I feel like games, so. I play games, you know, I really got into games like Skyrim and Fallout, and yeah. that set the bar so high because those games never end. Yeah, you can just yeah. keep playing them forever. I What I look for in a game now really has more to do with can I jump in and out of it sort yeah, of like, yeah, I know what you mean. with long stretches in between because, man, there are times where I can't play Shadow of Mordor all the time, and then it's like, oh, I haven't played in like a month and a half. I pick it up and I go, where am I? doesn't matter. Yeah, you just, just jump in. That's cool. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so that uh, there's that Dragon Ball Z game coming out, and I feel yes. like this looks really interesting. Yeah, it looks like a lot of fun because it looks kind of repetitive, but at the same time, it looks like something you can kind of jump in and out of. Yeah. So. Yes, uh, exactly. And I've been Which playing like a lot, a lot of, of stuff like like with all the GTA Online coming out on PS3, and then mm -hmm. coming out now on PS4 with the uh, remaster of it. Right. Whoa. The um, that that method of gameplay where you can pop in and out really quick has just been appealing to me, I think, too, in the last couple of years. I've been yeah. playing a lot of stuff like that. Yeah, it's just, I think it's just a matter of not having a lot of time to sit down and dump, I can't yeah. dump 12 hours into a game anymore. That's why Animal Crossing is just, uh, you know, such a, it's a, it's a award-winning franchise. I think Nintendo should be. Yeah, it's an award-winning franchise. I think they should be <laughs> commended for the drop-in and out game. Did they game. pay you? I, shh. I don't, we're not supposed to say that. What's your part. favorite award that Animal Crossing won? Sean, edit this part out. Yeah, Oscar. What, what are the awards that Animal Crossing has <laughs> Well, won? I won a bug uh, collecting award. No, I'm not asking yeah, what no, you yeah, won. We didn't say what I'm did you win. I'm asking what did Animal Crossing right. win? Uh, innovative uh, Achievement Awards and Excellence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Garrett from, Award. From who? No, from the Game Developers Conference. No, no. Yeah. You're I, reaching. You're reaching. Did it win something? Don't lie. To us. Don't lie. But All now right. I'm questioning it. No, he got us. Guys, no. I made I'm it up. See? Now. He just admitted okay. that he made it up. Okay. Made it up, guys. Just press it. I was, oh. The pressure was Liar on. Cross.